The following program is intended for mature audiences. Good evening and welcome to another episode of Flesh Wound After Dark. I'm Daniel Shine, joined as always by Todd Lawyer. No. <laughs> and Pugs Dread. Nominous Day. What's up? I thought it was more cool than sexy there. Oh, that's hard. I naturally. It was neither you know. there. <laughs> uh, Fringy. Ask yes. the lady, sir. I'm quite certain that was sexy, but uh, no. Cool and sexy, but that's... I know. You're beating them off with a stick. Oh, wait, no, you're just beating off. Ah, oh, how <laughs> immature, Todd. Um, that was funny. Our classy well, podcast, you would make that... Joke. Hey, it's after dark, so... These are allowed. Just, just no trigger words, Dan. There we go. So anyways, uh, we're moving along with our American Pie uh, franchise retrospective, and we, we're reaching an end. Uh, and... We're going to kick it off first with, and we've been doing all these in order. If you haven't gone back and listened, check them out. We've been doing two an episode, and these have been really fun revisiting these. So um, I'm very... More fun than some things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one doesn't feel like work. No, no. Well, sex comedies, they always brighten your day. Uh, so our next one is American Pie Presents The Book of Love. Wow. This is from director jo John Putch, and this one, 10 years after the first American Pie movie, three new hapless virgins discover the Bible hidden in the school library at East Great Falls High. All right, so um, this one, I really love the, the idea of the book that they made such a big point of in the first movie. Um, obviously... Eugene Levy, once again, is the only crossover, but it kind of, I don't know, I love the gimmick in this one, because it really brought it back. Uh, and the time that we do have with Eugene Levy, they did a really good job with, I thought. Um, so, so yes, um, <laughs> this one, I like that the, the new Stifler uh, relative in this one was... A little different. It didn't feel like he was just doing a impression of Sean William Scott, which I thought was nice. Um, he doesn't imitate him the same way, so I kind of dug that, but he's still very much in uh, the same uh, vein. And my God, how do they get so many celebrities in this one, man? I mean, everybody pops C celebrities. up. Celebrities. <laughs> well, I'm gonna still say Rosanna Arquette is notable. Sir. Okay, that one is. But when we're when um, we're talking about Dustin Diamond, there's a little <laughs> a little difference there. I was tripping out on the Katy Perry music. I'm like, oh, I guess she was almost like still new at the time. That sounded like Muzak to me. It wasn't a sound I alike. I think it was Katy Perry, man. Hot and cold. Uh, I think she's with Universal though. So okay, well, it it, it something sounds off. So I thought it was uh, just a sound. Yeah, she was just becoming a thing around. 2009 right so i think yeah they probably were well, the song was hot and colds off the first album big yeah oh, okay right here i'm not even lying <laughs> all right well i have to do this the stifler thing real quick you know my favorite, john pack john patrick jordan just felt like he was playing um um uh, uh larnell from from the evil bong franchise the same character he's been doing it didn't feel really any Shit, different that is him. god damn which is <laughs> which i do enjoy his character from that so to see that world kind of mesh with this one and for him this would be a, his probably most mainstream thing at the time did it make sense to you guys in this one that they used the peanut butter as a gimmick because that looked like that was crunchy peanut butter and that doesn't seem like that would feel as good as an apple pie that's that sounds like someone who knows from experience the difference between chunky and creamy peanut butter. Well, I Dan likes his butter. extra creamy. I have not <laughs> sticked my uh, dingus in there, but nonetheless, not it makes it. sense. Not till tonight, right? <laughs> no comparison for us, Dan. Um, I also I was taken back that that motherfucker is Alfalfa from the '90s uh, Rascals movie. Bug uh, oh, which one is this? Uh, the, uh, Bug the main okay. the main guy, Bill Bug. What's his name, Dan? 
Bug Rock. Hall is the actor. Bug Hall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that because like his face. I'm like, I know this fucker. Where is it from? And I, I, also, I couldn't get it in like five minutes. I finally IMDb'd. I'm like, ah, Alfalfa. He was also in the stupids. <laughs> And it it is the noticeable thing. It's like I don't want to say the breakthrough role, but like her first somewhat major role for Beth Burrs from Two Broke, Two Girls. Broke Girl Two Broke. and uh, and the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. It, and this is like right before I, I believe it was the following year or two. Mm-hmm. So she still had some baby fat on her. I look better, look better yeah. there. <laughs> and man, this one was a lot funnier than I even remembered. Um, the moose scene. Holy shit at me rolling. Uh, And there's so many funny little lines. Hey, girls, this is for sit on my Facebook. (laughs) 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 Oh, but I was dying when Rosanna Arquette uh, gets like his, uh, his cum suck. And it's like, (laughs) yeah, that was so good. How did you not get David Arquette in this one? For all the like random Kevin Federline is in this. That I didn't remember at all. <laughs> Still one of my favorite celebrity wrestling appearances. I, I, I know we need the rubber. America's most hated for life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Christopher Knight, Tim Matheson, Steve Railsback is in this. Yeah, fucking Steve yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's random. That must be the director being a fan of something else he did. Yeah. That's just so random. Everyone else. Makes sense as they were like, you know, you got the C. Thomas House, which I know everyone popped for. And who was in his bed? He had a black girl. So I'm <laughs> dying. For those who have not seen Soul Man, that will make a lot more sense if you have. And if you haven't, go listen to our Soul Man commentary, which I do not know the number off the top of my head like other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I like the line to uh, uh, Federline. I think, yeah, he was a Mountie. Uh, we travel many miles for vertical smiles. <laughs> 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 Fucking Americans. Yeah. <laughs> this one, man, it's so hard for me to pick, like, rank these now because the when they went to the Canadian Horror House, holy shit. Monique? <laughs> yeah. I'm, it made me think of uh, Maurice's mom. <laughs> that was so good. Uh, what did you think of this one, Pugs? Where does it stand for you? Uh, this is probably the weakest entry for the Pi series for me, but they're all like really? super strong, so it doesn't even fucking matter because like you can't go wrong with any of them, mainstream and uh, American Pie presents. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was fucking dying when they were in that Victoria's Secret or whatever lingerie store. <laughs> <somewhere>. <laughs> Dude, when he when he gets when the alarm goes off. Like, you just shut the fuck up. Keep walking. They got the other girl. And he's just like, <laughs> man. Uh, when he hands it back, that's that just doubled down. <laughs> <laughs> that look. Yeah. Dan's like, how many times I've had that happen? <laughs> <laughs> and then the Canada, when they go up to the, the whorehouse, yeah. um, that, that's actually probably a bucket list. Have someone die on my dick. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> It's funny when they're like picking her up and like trying. <laughs> you can't They got locked up. They got locked up. <laughs> Not a spoiler, but you did you guys notice? Um, they had Kevin check the book out ninety nine on the the little checkout card. Yes, I did actually. I thought I, I was like, okay, that's fucking cool. And then Noah, uh, um, fucking Eugene Levy, Jim's dad. It's okay. <laughs> I. I thought he was a lawyer. He was over here uh, being a carpet person. Just fine. I guess he's uh, a yeah. task uh, jack of all trades, a Jew of all trades. <laughs> there you go. Um, he's awesome in this as always, and like when they rally up to get shit going, it's awesome. I I was pissed when um, she got mad. The homegirl got mad and tried to hook up with Stifler. It's like I don't know how I forgot how spoiler we're getting here, but yeah. Um, because he's like, oh, we're getting late. I'm like, ah, that's just a he's just a dude being a dude. I'm like yeah. being a bitch right now. <laughs> oh. That's just a bitch being a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. But I that's what Dan it. always says to me. So Shut up, Dan. But I'm, we... I'm glad it worked out. I like I I think this movie's fucking really, really good. And how, how really was not the first thing we brought up 
uh, Mr. Jefferson. Fuck it. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he died that probably not too long after this, too. Um, oh, man. Just 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 to point out a couple points. Uh, this was two years before Two Broke Girls, but also definitely Katy Perry. I, did, I thought it was a sound of like, I just assumed, assumed they wouldn't get it. And it's under license from Capital, not even the Universal oh, song. Shit. So well, they actually paid for it. Todd, did you pop when uh, she was sh- the the hooker was shaking when she was trying to pour them the drinks? <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> Yet it didn't stop you from fapping through it. Uh, what did you think of this one? Again, I'm an American. I masturbate. I do not fap. I'm not some British guy. Nothing wrong with being a British guy, Todd. Whoa. Dad calls his dick Sergeant Pepper. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> I would be perfectly content having seen this one in the theater. There's really only one American Pie I can say that wouldn't maybe fit as well. Really, this one? I think this is the weakest of all the sequel of all the directed video ones. Still, I don't think so. Which uh, ones do you think? Well, we I, have two people who think it is. I'm going to go band camp. <laughs> to be honest, I thought two just no for me. I don't That's know. Cool. No. And Curtis yeah. Armstrong too. Man, they brought out the big guns. Well, I don't know about big guns, Dan. In sex comedies, but, Curtis Armstrong yeah, but, is a legend. But Dan, you could get you could have got fucking Curtis Armstrong in your movie if you really wanted to. <laughs> and I tell you my about is, al- almost make my mom almost making him kill himself, I think. I think I've said that. Before. Yes, you did. I have you, you actually yeah. I will, well, do you want to save that or do you want to tell it real quick? I'll tell it real quick. Why not? Uh, so I mean it's not a long story or anything, but we were at a convention, uh, chiller, I believe. Or it could have been Monster Mania, but I'm pretty sure it was Chiller. Um, and they had a Revenge of the Nerds reunion. Robert Carradine was there. Curtis Armstrong was there. A couple others were there. And my mom... Speaking of which, yeah, Anthony Edwards would have been the get. Not yeah. fucking mother. <laughs> Chiller could have... Chiller could probably get him at some point. But um, but anyways, uh, my mom was just joking around. We were going to the elevator. And she was like, oh, I, you know, I don't know anybody here. And you know, I only know one or two people. Chiller's always got a big guest list. So coming like right, right. I think he was right behind us and he gets on the elevator. So I can see him, you know, I'm not going to bug somebody in an elevator or anything, but um, you know, so she's getting in there. It's like, Oh, come on. There's like nobody here. And and right before he had come, like we had, my brother had mentioned revenge of the nerds. And so it was all, we were already discussing it. And literally here comes Curtis Armstrong. So on the elevator is like, oh, who the hell has heard of Curtis Armstrong? What <laughs> more of Curtis? And I'm like, <laughs> oh my and god, can you imagine Dan's panic? She's back in that kept elevator? going, and I he never really looked. I think he might have given like one of those, and it's like nobody knows what the hell has he done. It's like revenge of the nerds, and she's like <laughs> just being funny, and of course he's right fucking there, so I can't shut her up, um, and. I swear, good mood hey. the first day. The rest of the weekend, he was a dick. <laughs> all, uh, all I gotta say was, he was in Revenge of the Nerds too. Also, there you go. Oh, uh, <laughs> I actually was better off dead. Risky That's Business, Southland Tales. He's he's done quite a few things. He was even in an episode, I think, of The Hunger, where he gets laid. Uh, the TV series, uh, but yeah. So, anyways, that's the story. She, yeah. Career shamed Curtis Armstrong. Uh, so, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. I thought I thought the gags all hit on this one. I think it's every bit on par with the others, with the other direct to disc ones. Uh, it's a fantastic sex comedy. Brett Michaels. I mean, Jesus. Mm-hmm. They call somebody called I, in a lot of favors. Yeah. Well, Rock and roll. I. Well, I will say, even though I think it's the weakest, I still think it's very entertaining. I don't think it's bad or anything. Mm-hmm. I just think the other the other three are stronger. They should have stumbled into like uh, Screech's sex tape. That would have been funny. <laughs> uh, but are, are we ready to rate this one? Sure, absolutely. I'm a four and a half man. I think this is a great sex comedy. It's it's really good. It stands up and it does the franchise proud. What say you, Todd? Yeah, I, I'm a four and a half also. Actually, oh okay. So it's just I, I think the other ones are better. Yeah, Todd just prefers. Yeah. What say you bugs? Four and a half is the perfect score across the board. 
this is yeah. not up to par with like the main pies, but this is just as fun as as they are. There you go. Well, now, do you think if they would have continued with the other, the other cast of the other the last two, and, and continued that, would you think it would have been better? Because um, I actually think, I actually think it was better the way they did it. I like that we went back to high school I, I, and focused on the book. I like that, yeah. but I I wish we would have got one more with this cast too, kind of like a two, like a like a double yeah. pairing. That would have been cool. It's also well, we could, hard to follow the. I mean, what? All right, we break them up again, and I don't know. I was okay with switching the change. Yeah, so was I. Yeah, um, and I hope we get more of these after the next one. Maybe. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that after. All right, we talk about. So yeah, let's get into. Uh, well, our our last one as of now, which is American. Well, well, as it's yeah. definitely. It's the end of this series, but we will have another review, a single review next month. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, so American Reunion from directors John Hurwitz and Hayden Schlossberg. Uh, this one follows Jim, Michelle, Stifler, and all the gang who reunite in East Great Falls, Michigan for their high school reunion. Um, all right, so uh, they're 13 year high school, right? 13, yes, 13 years. Why didn't they just say it was 15? No one's gonna call them out for that. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. Uh, so I was really curious going into this one because, again, as characters and well, the actors get older, sometimes they're not as funny. So I was a little concerned. I realized I was like, this could be this could be like getting into like a revenge of the nerds scenario where you know real world now adults maybe not as funny but um uh this one actually kind of holds up pretty well for me i worried about i mean number one this has a lot of heart because you know uh you've got the mom that's dead and eugene levy has some great moments in this um real quick he steals it for me when he's doing the fucking uh ice shot whatever he's like the name's noah motherfucker (laughs) 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 uh Uh, which just says i'm gonna get you fucked (laughs) (laughs) yes let's do another one (laughs) i love i like how we we first meet Stifler in this, and he literally me too is the entire <laughs> <laughs> office. <laughs> yes, um, it works remarkably well because when I first saw it, of course I had a great time. You know, the progression of the characters and everything was all great. But the first time I saw it, I'm like, ah, not as funny as the other. Uh, the- Again, talking with theatricals. Um, and I, I think now, I don't know, maybe I'm like cl- uh, getting a little closer to the actual age here, probably that they are at this point. Um, I did, I dug it. It, it fits in perfectly with the others and you still get the horribly embarrassing opening for Jim. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dan, be careful with your laptop from now on. Shut no. up, Todd. Uh, I was giving you a same. On your fucking- <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you the same shit then. Did you Obviously notice what also to- hasn't uh, aged well? He would. They- <laughs> This opened with R. Kelly's bump and cry. That was <laughs> fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, that that makes it age perfect. <laughs> that was so was funny, crazy. Daddy. At least it didn't, at least it wasn't like the Joker where they already knew. <laughs> Did you have like the moment where he, your son comes in and asks why all there's all the screaming on the laptop? <laughs> uh, what did you think of this one, Pugs? Oh, I, I absolutely adore this movie, and like we've grown up with these guys, yeah. So like, there's like family at a at, to a certain point, especially like movie fans. Like, I want nothing but the best for them, and it's really cool to like you know catch up, see what they're doing. Who's who did what? What's gone where? Um, like, and it was nice to have Oz back. I actually missed him. I didn't even realize it till he came back. I'm like, oh, and then they even addressed like, oh, I missed your wedding. I'm not gonna miss this. I'm like, okay, the wedding is probably more important, but I'm glad you're here, Rock, uh, Dancing with the Star guy. Um, okay, so I real quick, do you approve of bangs for once? Fuck no, but I think she- I. You, She's still, it's too long. Like it, her head's still too big. 
Yeah, well, she's got. I think that was an improvement in this case. <laughs> I, I think it should have been like the swooping bangs or something, like just straight down, I, like a six-year-old. Nah, <laughs> maybe I'm just not well, talking it, to her. <laughs> yeah, it might. Be. I thought she looked better with the bangs. Okay, I think her forehead looked better. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, and once again, Jim does not take advantage of. He's a good guy, so he doesn't take advantage of like the willing fucking hot girl. I know she's like okay, that do you, that is uh, Kara, and do you know what Kara is from? I do not. Well, we will be watching her in the in our upcoming thirteen slash Tober thing. She is the lead in Girl House. Oh fuck! Okay. Oh shit! It's funny how you yeah. make the connections. Uh, I, like, yeah. I, I probably like her there too, then. <laughs> but, no. but we didn't get her. We did, I don't think. Yeah. But we got her, yeah, the car scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> that whole situation is fucking hilarious. Um, again, Jim's dad, he's just the dad of all dads at this point. I love yeah. I, I'm just going to say Jim's probably a stronger man than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, well, he had uh, fucking uh, Eugene to help him out. And we, he finally got his, and I'm so fucking happy for that. Yes. That was amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm glad Jim and Michelle worked their shit out, and, and yeah, I just love all these guys, and I kind of hope we get another one. I just, I want to see. I know they wrapped it up kind of neatly, but you know they said. But you could time. You could say that about American Wedding though too. Everyone since that has wrapped it up. Yeah, and like I'd be fine if we didn't ever get another one, but I also really want another one. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Yeah, I mean, you could really do it. I would do it like road trip style, like trying to recapture their glory days. Because at this point, they'd all, I mean, well, probably by the time the movie would come out, they'd be about 40 now. So, like, it would kind of make sense to to have that. I don't think you'll ever have them as, like, old men, <laughs> women. But, you know, 40 is a good age. They'll, they'll recast the women in about another five years. So. I was going to say... <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's like some supermodel. <laughs> no, they'll probably keep her. She's the only one with like name values. So, and we do get we do get our Nadia. Yeah. Um, with her fucking clone of Jim. That guy doesn't look like me. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, hey, you guys so just gotta spice shit up, right? Invite him over. <laughs> even when even when uh Stifler wingman's with fucking Shermanator on Bob. <laughs> <laughs> That was in fine form. Todd, did you uh, play uh, Vagina Shark at all this past summer? <laughs> no, but it's on my <laughs> 2020, none this year. But I didn't know, and this was a recent viewing because of plugs, I didn't know uh, Shermanator was in uh, Major Pain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got a lot of work so. back in the yeah. 90s. And I, the one thing I do find funny is because we have we I know I don't know it's why we have the return of of uh, John Cho, who in the last couple films he was in was credited as John, but they reverted the credit back and I don't know if that was his wanting. He's back to milf guy number two. He wasn't even the number one. Ain't that a bitch? I, that's it. That's what he was credited in the first one. So I think that had to be. I did love that the like the pop ups and the the Polaroid. Yeah. Uh, and I, how the tables have turned that fucking good for Stifler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you see the joy in his eyes when he does <laughs> <laughs> And then the end when he doesn't want to. Okay, and yeah, then he coughs it out. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody uh, ever shit in a cooler before? <laughs> can't say I have not. <laughs> <laughs> I was bad when he did it, though. Fuck those guys. <laughs> this was the least really annoying Kevin has been. Also, what? Like, this is the least annoying Kevin has been. I liked him here. Yeah, he's an adult. Maybe you know. I I still think he should have tried to do his next step gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, no, he totally. I I think he was used in a different way, and that helped. I I agree. So. But we know Even though I say he's annoying, I still love him along with the other guys. Yeah. yeah. He's the annoying one though. Everyone's got that. It's uh it's gonna be tough to like do the shark now though, so they are gonna have to be clever. Yeah. <laughs> More just do, just do just do pussy porpoise instead and you're fine. 
<laughs> you can only do that. Uh, no, I'm going to keep that part to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Black would approve. I'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I love that Eugene Levy got to go to the party. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what, what, um, shit, what's that fancy word to use? So- soiree. That's a fancy soiree. Soiree. <laughs> soiree. <laughs> I would have blowjob lip stain the mouth that got away. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my god, the shine when when he comes up. <laughs> when the stiffler comes up from the restroom. <laughs> oh, dude. Noah on J date, and then he has his little fashion show. Oh, God. <laughs> it, would be, it would be funny to see him bang Nadia. I, oh my God, that I want that American funeral. That has to <laughs> dance. <laughs> I don't know about American funeral. I mean, I guess they could dangle that for like whichever one of you. Stiffler's mom dies. Money. Oh my god! And then the the, yeah. the milk guys can bang the corpse. <laughs> Finally, that's how it ends. This bed is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to rate this? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Fine. Uh, okay. Which this? Yeah, so do we should how many? Movies the main pie series should have. We have one more. <laughs> yes. So, guys, I hope we get another one. Well, 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 real quick, I don't want you wrapping yet. Not... I want to say something because we will be reviewing American Pie Presents Girls Night in a in a girls probably about a, a, a girls rule. Thank you. Um, in a couple weeks now, or no, is it next week? Well, it's coming right up. As soon as it hits VOD, we're covering that one. Um. So here's the thing. We've all discussed it previously. Well, I don't think Eugene Levy's going to be in in this one. And Pug's saying, well, maybe they're keeping him hidden. It's possible. I'm proposing something else. No Eugene Levy. It should be Stifler's mom. I'm playing with that. Because it, cause it's it's girls. I'm okay with that. I, uh, I like both. But that makes the most sense to me. If you're going to go full on and have girls, she needs to somehow... Ooh, what, if, what if they switch it up? They're like, oh, here's Nadia, or here's fucking Allison, or, or Michelle. I, I think Nadia would work, too. I, I, know I don't see if he has to get her in it. Talk. I don't know at this point. I mean... You know, Elizabeth, I think he could. <laughs> she's not... not she, isn't she doing more charity stuff now? I don't think she's... Yeah, yeah, but she still does the conventions here and all that stuff. Yeah. So she'll she work for a, a paycheck. I mean, I, I don't think she's just going to turn it down. For a I couple mean. days. Eh, she might. It's it's not she's not the level where she's not attainable. Yeah. Jennifer Coolidge, although like they're usually you know obviously you know smaller character roles, pops up in quite a bit still. Um, she's in, I can see her doing it. So I didn't even think of that. There's another two broke girls connection. Yeah, I mean, if <laughs> that's not a bad idea, if you had to do it this way, you know, have her come back. Something. Yeah. Something. Oh my god. Then, soon. Like her head pops up. It's her and Eugene. That'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I I am interested to see what happens with that one. I know. We'll see. I hope I, it's better than yeah, it looks. I hope it's good. I well, it doesn't really look like anything at, at this point, Dan. It just basically is a 30 second spot with women. I, oh, that's why it doesn't look very good. Never mind. I I never root for a bad time, so I hope it's good. Uh so anyways. Uh, I believe that's all we have for you guys this evening. Be sure to check out all the other uh, American Pie episodes. They're really good. Uh, reminisce with us. I know those movies are so important to our generation. So check it out. And that's all I got. Uh, good night, guys. Good night. Follow us on all the social media bullshits. Namaste. And uh, this bed is on fire with passion and love. <laughs>